What does that mean? That means that all these fertilizers, phosphorus things, nitrogen, is being put into these rivers and streams of water. It's bringing tremendous poison to all of them. And this eutrophication can just kill millions of fish like you just saw what's happening in China. But there's one other thing. The fishermen have these heavy nets, much of them with iron in it. And when they get rid of them, they drop them in the ocean and they sink down and they become traps for the fish. Millions get caught in them and they have no way of getting out to get their food supplies and they die. So here we're being warned by the world of what's coming and yet it's what Jesus and the Bible said would happen after we're gone. But it's the beginning. That's how near the coming of the Lord is for you and me. Mm, Jack, we're going to elaborate on that good news in just a moment. I just have to keep referring to the fact that Jesus, when he referred in the gospel to all of the signs that we're giving to you right now, he said, don't let your heart be troubled because I'm going to come back. I'm going to straighten it all up. What a wonderful Lord we have. What a wonderful Savior we have. I'm sorry to say we're going to be winding up this great offer of the week, A Socialist America. Here's our preview. Socialist America? Impossible, you say. Let's investigate. Newt Gingrich, in his dynamic new book, To Save America, said, Obama's secular socialist machine represents as close a threat to America as Nazi Germany or the Soviet Union experienced as socialist nations. Hitler heading up the secular socialist German Workers' Party and Stalin leading the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics were instrumental in the deaths of over 100 million human beings through execution and wars. In Webster's Dictionary, socialism, Marxism, and communism are one and the same. Karl Marx, a professing Christian, cursed God after becoming a socialist. The great black journalist Thomas Sowell asked, is the U.S. on a slippery slope to tyranny? Then answered it by saying, in our times, American democracy is being dismantled piece by piece before our very eyes by the current administration in Washington, and few people seem to be concerned. For more shocking details about a socialist America, order the video as to how, what, where, when, and why it could happen. I asked a young lady today, do you know what socialism is? A bright young lady, no. This will help you to understand where our country is going. And we're winding this up the last 10 days, Jack. I'll tell you, this is the most important video I have made to date because America is in trouble and you need to get this. People are giving it to their unsaved loved ones and for the first time they're listening to what they're saying because this speaks to their hearts and many are finding Christ. Please get it. And where is it predicted in the Bible? Are you kidding? It is predicted. And Jack gives it all to us here. Make the call. Oh, my friends, here we are already on the 11th one of the catastrophes in the book of Revelation. And that also is number 18. And when I say that also is number 18, it intensifies with that same sign as number 18. Now, the sign 11 in the Bible deals with the heavens, the sun, the space, and even space wars. NASA scientists braced for solar tsunami to hit the Earth. Woo! All right, here's what they had to say. The Daily Telegraph disclosed in June that senior space agency scientists believe the Earth will be hit with unprecedented levels of magnetic energy from solar flares after the sun wakes from a deep slumber sometime in 2012, the disaster date. NASA's Whoa. saying it, yes, not us. they are. Sunstorm to hit with force of, whoa, a hundred million bombs? A hundred million bombs? It's the new space race views of Earth from up there are hot commodity down here. And Ahmadinejad, Iran hopeful about sending man into space by 2017. And Israel aims to be space superpower. Here's a concern wars in space, and this is the intelligence briefing that Jack puts out. 
so very, very frequently is the X-37B, the start of war in space. And space war is becoming real. Military is on the verge of using laser weapons. Now that has to do with Star Wars becoming very, very real. Now that was the cover story taken from USA Today. Star Wars becoming real. War in space. Is it going to happen, Jack? Revelation 12, 7, there was war in the heavens, and it's coming. I mean, the world is getting all of their planes ready for the great thing that's coming and the missiles that will be blasting one another out there in space. Oh, Jake, that's so serious to think about. Now, remember, this is Judgment 11 and 18. They're the same, but with greater intensity. Jack, it's so serious. I'm going to start with number 18. You'll see why in a moment. It says... The angel poured out his bowl of judgment upon the sun, S-U-N, and power was given unto the sun to scorch men with fire, and men were scorched with a great heat. Is that global warming? No. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 26 says that the brightness and power and heat of the sun will be sevenfold, seven times as great as normally. What is accomplished in seven days of a blazing sun now all takes place in just one day, but God has mercy. And so we go back to number 11 now. The trumpet judgments. And the trumpet is blown by the angels, and suddenly a third part of the sun, a third part of the moon, a third part of the stars was darkened so that one third of the world was made dark. Why? To save the lives of these people. Now, this is really interesting, Rexella. Why? Jesus said in Matthew 24, verses 21 and 22, watch this, there shall be great tribulation such as never was since the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be, except those days should be shortened. There should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those who are saved during the tribulation hour, those days shall be shortened. Now, Daniel 9, verse 27 says that the tribulation period is the 70th week. And that is a period of seven years. Now, the Jewish calendar was 360 days, so 360 times seven is 2,520 days. When God says something's going to last 2,520 days, it can't last 2,400 days. It has to last like God said it would. God never makes a mistake. In fact, when you see what a half of the tribulation hour is, in Revelation 11, 3 and 12, 16, it's 1,260 days. That twice is 2,520 days. Now, how does God shorten the days? He doesn't. Dr. Logston, to him I'm grateful for this information. Number of years ago, a pastor at Moody Memorial Church, he said God shortens the daylight hours to save the people from the scorching rays of the sun. That's the only answer. You also find that in Joel 2.31 and Acts 2.19, and Jesus predicted the very moment what would happen in Matthew 24.29 when he says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. But in the midst of all that, verse 27, Christ Gives us hope again, as he says, As the lightning shineth from the east to the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. In the midst of all his darkness, there's a luminous light from one end of the heavens to the others. The return of the Lord Jesus Christ, the set of his kingdom on earth. But remember, we were gone seven years before. We come back with him now. We're going to miss everything you've heard today if you know Jesus. All right, we'll deal with that in just a moment. Number 12, it's a terrible catastrophe, having to do with demonic appeal and satanic Worship, we've dealt with this a little bit in days gone by. Zombie leads horror assault. Now, this is only one of 14 scary movies coming out this fall. New moon rising, and this has to do with vampire bug. And the lore of the vampire, that's another one. And then USA Today widespread panic. Eminem enliven zombie gathering. And there they talk about it, the zombies that they're talking about all the time. Are we there, Jack? We're getting ready with these zombies and vampires and werewolves and uh, bloodsuckers, people on TV now, True Blood and all the rest, 
for Revelation 9, verses 1 to 5, an angel has a key to the bottomless pit and opens it. Now, the bottomless pit is mentioned nine times as the pit of the abyss. It's where all the unclean things were cast. And the angels were cast out of heaven, as you know, in Isaiah 14, 12 to 14, when Lucifer sinned, and he took one-third of those angels with him in Revelation 12, verse 4. They are now the powers of the heavens. And that is, of course, Ephesians 2, 2. Satan is the prince of the power of the air, but they inundate the heavens, and that's why we're fighting against evil spirits in high places. But there are a number of those angels who were cast into the pit of the abyss because they committed a horrible sin with the daughters of men in Genesis 6, 2, raping them. Raping them? Is that hard to believe? No. These filthy, sin-laden creatures called fallen angels are there in that pit of the abyss called Tartarus in the Word of God, and that's only mentioned one time, and as they come out, they begin to spread all of their poison and all of their iniquity and all of their debauchery and all of the lasciviousness on the human race. And that's what's going on right now when you've got 15 million in America and millions more around the world living together without a marriage license. That is part of what they're up to. The Bible says they're going to be so accepted that the world will worship these demons, Revelation 9, 20. And what's the result? 1 Timothy 4, 1. The Holy Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the Christian faith, giving heed to the seducing, damnable spirits who teach doctrines of demons and use some of the preachers today to do it. But there's more. You know, I've already said they're being worshipped by the public these demonic spirits in Revelation 9, 20, but look at the results, verse 21. The people would not repent of their murders, their drug abuses, their fornication, all kinds of lascivious sex acts, and their thefts. It's here, ladies and gentlemen, and that is really going to increase in intensity and immensity right after the church is gone, but it's already starting. Oh, Jack, you know, friends, we don't have to listen to anything except the Word of God. And when we have the Word of God, we won't want to follow what's happening in the world. We'll want to follow the Lord. Do you want the Lord in your life? He'll give you victory over everything. Jack, would you please pray the prayer of salvation for us? Do you want to escape these 21 judgments? Then pray this prayer. He's coming soon. Lord Jesus, you're the only way we can be saved. You do died to keep us from these 21 tragedies. We're going home soon. Lord Jesus, I receive you today as my Savior. Come into my heart now. In your holy name I ask it. Amen. Amen. I trust you prayed that prayer with Jack. There's my address. Write to me this week. I'll send this little book up to you. First Steps in a New Direction. And now, the last 10 days, here we are. Chuck, show us how they can get this. My friend, to order your copy of A Socialist America on DVD, have your credit card ready and call toll-free, 24 hours a day, 1-800-JVI-7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Vanapee Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. In Canada, send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Vanapee Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, NINA6Y1. And now back to Rex Seller. Thank you so much, Chuck. There's the address. There's the number. Call it right away. And now, friends, remember I said, rely on the Word of God. God's Word is a life preserver that keeps the soul from sinking in a sea of troubles. How good. We'll look forward to being in your home again next week. And until then, remember, God cares for you. So do we so very much. Bye-bye.